it is about time that we start looking at uh, interesting uh, use cases uh, which were conceived uh, in the next generation mobile network alliance uh, for adoption uh, as a son initiative and the consequent requirements which are going to emerge traditionally uh, the network um, design and operation can be split into four categories planning deployment optimization and maintenance and uh, planning being the overarching activity um can even go through some changes uh, while uh, a plan has already been made like capacity suddenly changes or the technical requirements change similarly in deployment uh, there is a possibility that some kind of relocation or um, reassociation is required for the network elements like uh, um mobile station has to connect to a uh, home e node b instead of uh, node b then when the network is operating uh, it could uh, wither or it could deteriorate in performance uh, so some kind of continuous tracking is done using uh, the radio parameters at the physical layer and the transport parameters at the higher layers and uh, lastly maintenance is a continuous activity as well um which uh, emerges from time to time like uh, hardware upgrade replacement software upgrade service patches um new software releases security patches and if there is a failure so kind of uh, uh, fail over and um, uh, failure recovery mechanisms are also needed so we can think about general uh, next generation mobile network uh, Uh, operator use cases so these all stem out of uh, these four stages once we talk about the recommendations which were made by the telecom operators uh, they came up with the the top operational efficiency recommendations that is the use cases which must be um, integrated for self organizing network uh, perspective that is uh, these activities had to be automated whatsoever uh, this included operation and uh, maintenance or management support uh, we know uh, in telecom networks drive testing is something which essentially was a requirement for uh, um rf planning and uh, deployment of the um network elements like base transceiver and uh, node bs uh, then handover optimization um, of course soft handoff with hysteresis with thresholding so these uh, uh, are always required because the channel behavior varies over time load balancing is another concern cell breathing if you recall is an important concept in which the cell uh, blooms or shrinks depending upon the transmit power requirements for a varying number of users then cell outage compensation um what to do it's a failure recovery mechanism requirement then energy saving all the time is is a concern because uh, at the um, network side the energy is not a major concern but on the mobile side or the handheld device side it's indeed a major concern because the mains are not available but these are mostly battery operated devices then uh, common channels which are used for control signaling have to be op- optimized as well for a large number of users um then interactions between home and macro base transceivers like e node b home e node b etc uh then sons are also required for optimizing quality of service parameters and uh, this list can go on and on but these were the top recommendations now these recommendations require some kind of uh, parameterization uh, parameterization means that how are you going to achieve self organizing capability on ground for that there is a control theoretic view on uh, self organizing networks uh 
Sapo uh, Hemelinen took it from uh, from an IEEE paper. Um, in there, uh, the SON functions are known more as uh, controller functions. Uh, these controller functions uh, provide input uh, to the system uh, as uh, uh, input parameters like uh, uh, neighbor density, um, um, the assignment of uh, the RB channels, uh, downlink transmit power, uh, the um, antenna directions, polarization, and um, um, switching capability of uh, cells, their current status, how many of the cells are out, have outages, or how many are there using certain band of frequencies, uh, then handoff parameters and uh, configuration for MIMO. Now, these input parameters uh, serve as uh, uh, configuration management input parameters to the overall uh, system. Since our focus primarily is uh, on telecom networks, so we are using this specific jargon for telecom network, but um, um, it could be any network. However, for our specific case, the output parameters are going to result into change in coverage to accommodate varying degree of users across uh, locations. Uh, there, a change in capacity, probably enhancing the capacity or uh, conserving the capacity to be shared somewhere else, the um, improving the reliability and uh, the availability of the system. Now, uh, this view allows us to exactly know what requirements are going to emerge for uh, the uh, SON implementation. This has been taken from uh, uh, Seppo Hemelenin, uh, LTE Self-Organizing Network. 